Okay, so five things that can go, might cause your John Deere tractor, this is a 6310 to overheat. The first is on the left side facing front, left side facing front. Your radiator itself can get plugged with stuff. This is the hydraulic oil cooler and then your radiator sits behind it and it can just get plugged with stuff. So you gotta blow it out with a air hose and there's like no screen to move in front and it's just super hard to get in there and just take your air hose and blow it out. You can blow it out from this side too. The second thing, you know, your, your top radiator hose comes into your thermostat right here. It could be not opening. So, you know, you can take that out. It costs like 60 bucks to change that, which is ridiculous. Um, so you may want to just take that off, put it in some hot water and see if it opens. The next thing is you want to make sure your fan turns. Um, and of course your belt needs to be in good shape, but right in here is a viscous clutch. So when the when the engine's cold, you could actually hold your fan and it won't move. And as it heats up, the oil inside that clutch gets hot and then your fan turns. So if the oil is leaked out of that viscous clutch, uh, it won't turn when it gets hot. So when your temperature gets hot, you should actually be able to kind of feel a slight drop in horsepower as your, your viscous clutch heats up and your fan comes on. Uh, we can go over to the right side facing forward. So this is your bottom radiator hose and it comes into your water pump, which I have removed, that'll be last. But it also goes through and here's your, your uh, engine oil, your oil filter. Your oil filter on this model, it dro drops into an internal uh, oil cooler. And your, your oil cooler can be bad, either the oil cooler is radiator or on this case, on ours, it has um, little O-rings that went bad inside there so uh, this would happen when it, when that happened uh, it just because the oil pressure just over pressurized the system it started blowing steam I looked in when I drained the the coolant it was full of oil that's because the oil cooler went bad the seal went bad and was pushing oil into the water and the last thing is uh, on your lower your lower uh, hose goes into your water pump which is removed it's got a pulley right here it's not on the fan um, what surprised me about your, the water pump is like on a car, you'll hear the bearing going out or you can feel the, it's usually attached to the fan, the fan gets loose. On this John Deere, what I was surprised, here's the, the water pump, you know, and it's, it's pulley, it's pulley was fine, it wasn't making any noise, it was in great shape, it seemed like it was in great shape, but, but it's got an impeller, you know, that pulls the water and it's plastic garbage and that uh, wasn't working. And uh, the sign was basically I fixed everything else and um, you know, started to use, put a load on it and it'd get hot and then I'd take the load off and it'd, it would cool down. So there's your five things.